Hi friends, uh, so in this tutorial we will see how to use the start menu or how to configure the start menu items. So first what we have to do is that we have to right click on the desktop. After that we click on personalize and on the left pane by default you can see that background is highlighted so it means that this one is selected. So let's go to the start menu. So before I start I just want to say that I have created tutorials for this background, colors, lock screen, teams and now I'm making a tutorial on the start so if you don't know how to use this one you can watch those videos on my channel as well so let's get started now in here you can see that the first option in here when you click on start is that it says show more tiles so what it means is that do you want to see more tiles or not so if I click on the my uh, on the start menu or in here on the left uh, side you can see this in here it shows a preview of our settings so now if I turn it on you can see that it kind of gets bigger or expanded so if I turn it off you can see now it is it has contracted or it's small so if I turn it on you can see it gets bigger and if I turn it off now it's smaller so what it means is that do you want to show or do you want to see more tiles or not the other setting that you can configure is that occasionally so suggestions in the start so it's simple do you want to see suggestions or not so if you do turn it on otherwise turn it off uh, show most uh, used apps so do you want to see the most used apps or not uh, so if you turn it off you won't if you turn it on you will so currently it says that most used apps so in here you can see that it shows us so if you turn it off what it does is that it doesn't show us on the left side there is no most used apps so if I turn it on now show most sorry show most used apps in here if I turn it off now you can see that there is no most used apps uh, on the start of the screen you can't see anything however if I turn it back on now in here you can see that it says uh, most used so these are the most used apps if I have mostly used uh, this notepad so we can see a notepad in here and I haven't used much of anything else so if you use more programs like Word, Excel or some other uh, machine, or, sorry, if, if, uh, some other programs, it will get, you will see those in here. Um, other than that, it says show recently added apps. So if I turn this on, so let's say that I have installed, currently installed a Microsoft uh, on my machine. So you can see that it shows this recently one, recently installed apps. So I installed Microsoft Office uh, so all these apps you can see that it shows it and they recently added so after this let's say I install Photoshop you will see Photoshop in on the top one in here so what it will do is that it will show us the recently apps that the recent apps that we have installed on our machine most used it just shows, uh, shows us those apps that we use most often other than that it says that use the start uh, full screen so right now you can see that it doesn't cover full screen the start uh, there is some space in here and some space in here on the preview if I scroll up in here you can see that this is the place where we can work this is the place of our start uh, screen however if you see if you turn this on use a start full screen what we can what we see is that uh, now if I now you can see that this start menu what it does is that it covers all the screen so now you can see that there are no empty spaces our start the screen covers the whole screen sorry our start menu covers the whole screen so if you turn it off I don't like turning it on I keep it off other than that this is the show recently opened items in jump list on a start or taskbar it's simple so if you have opened multiple items in a program like let's say Microsoft Edge you recently uh, visited web pages it will show it on jump list so if you turn it on it will if you don't it won't I've turned it off I don't like seeing it the last option in here it says choose which folders appear on a start so in here uh, you can select the folders that you want to see on a start so like in Windows 7 uh, up until Windows 7 we could see those folders um, on our start menu folders like documents uh, downloads etc uh, however in here by default you can see that we don't see those items in here and notice this in here on the right side guys this uh, sorry this in here on the left side currently it shows the account settings and some other things like settings and power and 
my admin account which is currently I am logged on as so now if I go back and I turn if I select this and if I select documents downloads music pictures videos so in here now I'm clicking on the start menu now you can see that this gets populated so this is the admin account now you can see that documents downloads uh, music uh, pictures and videos they have been added so if you want uh, that to work with that what you can do is that uh, you can just turn them on and it will appear on your start menu so settings is turned on by default the others however are turned off uh, I don't like having them turned off so I will keep them turned off but if you want that you can do it so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, so far I have uh, covered in all my tutorials this background colors lock your screen themes and in this one I covered a start menu uh, so if you have a, if you don't know how to use this one you can watch those tutorials on my channel as well and if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one